bursting passion, a taste of this direction, hunger and thirst I am. Focus, distraction I am. I feel every part. A seed in your garden, I am. A piece in your madness, I am. Good morning, lights. The present global situation offers an unprecedented opportunity for collective spiritual growth. As we are all essentially connected beyond form, as a single, eternal, infinite, non-dual unified field, this is an ideal time to abide in the shared consciousness of all, and thereby begin to reshape our world. Find truth, as being, beyond the apparent sublunary reality. This is achievable via contemplative self-inquiry into the one constant reality that we all experience, which is the feeling, I am. You will recognize that this illimitable being is what we truly are. You can uncover this, as this, this very moment. Accept every occurrence as if you had planned it yourself, and uncover essential being, by means of sustained self-inquiry. Only this recognition will unveil our knowing abidance in the truth, and peace, that we are. Eternal, boundless, indivisible awareness is the absolute, is the one true reality. This alone is. Anything that can be experienced is not reality. One cannot experience reality, one can only, be, reality. Awareness is known only unto itself. From the perspective of duality, there is experience and there is awareness or God. In truth, God is the absence of experience but the dream of experience is made of God, in God. Everything is ultimately awareness, ultimately the same energy, the same movement, albeit resonating at varied frequencies or wave cycles and densities. You could say that God is the absence of this energetic vibration, perfect stillness, the limitless, timeless, all-encompassing, all-knowing, unmoved source, that is aware, of all. Or, alternatively, one could say that God is the watcher, at rest. When the watcher drops the identification with the body-mind, it exists as its true nature, the nature of the absolute, the real. The freedom you seek is a desire to be free from the suffering of the body, mind, and world. This suffering exists due to your identification with and belief that you are the body and mind in the world. First, see that you are not this. See that the body, world, and all appearances arise in you as the awareness of all experience. How can anything exist outside of the awareness that you are? See, that, which is unaffected, that to which, fear and desire have no relevance or reality. This is the freedom, the bliss of being, peace, stillness, the me, unknown by other, yet aware of itself. Fearlessness is the unmasking of that which obscures the absolute. Consider that you are awareness itself, and only this exists, singularly. The apparent separation is but a dream within a dream. When this is clearly seen, the illusion crumbles and all fear and desire crumbles with it. Simply be, as a net in the wind. Let all the noise of mind pass through unimpeded. Hold nothing, remain untouched, unmoved, still. First be empty then be the emptiness. Divine non-attachment. If one truly burns for truth, drop everything including person, still the mind and turn inward. Drop the past and future entirely, and from here you are present. The urge to move away from this presence arises when one believes that something, other than this moment, is more important. Remember, while abiding in presence, seek not, for ultimately it is the relinquishing of attention, and the resulting absence of mind, 
that will uncover the indivisible being that we are. It will be seen that we are already, and always have been, that, which is aware of the body and world, abiding in, as, and of itself, boundless, timeless, illimitable, divine, still. Thank you for listening. If this content resonates with you, please consider subscribing in order to be notified of new video uploads. Please like this video and feel free to comment or ask questions in the comments section below. The new age is here, dear lights. It's time to free yourself and I'm here to help. Much love. Catch you on the next one. Trouble